everybody, welcome back to a brand new vlog. Sorry that I missed last week, I was away on my little holiday to Cornwall and so I had to miss last week unfortunately because we were literally, we literally just got back. So there's no time to like edit or get anything uploaded so I need to shellac my toenails. So I thought I would um, have a little chat to you while I was doing that because this is going to be quite boring. So I thought it'd be quite nice to chat to you whilst I get on with this. Um, I just had my nails done actually. I went on Sunday. I went and got my nails perfectly done again by Alex at the Hopland. She does them so beautifully. They are amazing. These are all my own nails. These are my real nails, by the way. They've just got a builder gel on them, so they're a lot tougher, so they don't break the same. So it means that you can just grow and grow and grow them. And I'm just so, so happy <laughs> with them. They're super long and I love them. So I'm super happy with those, but she doesn't do my toenails because by the time I finish with my nails, I just want to kind of get home and get doing other things. I don't want to kind of wait and do my toenails too. So I'm just going to do those here. By the way, for any of you guys who live in London or who are going to London soon, Alex from the Hot Blend has started doing like a day a week at Dry By. So my salon that I always used to go to when I lived in Notting Hill and therefore it was like a 10 minute drive for me to go, go and get my nails done. She's now doing a slot every week at, at Dry By and I'm pretty sure that from this week you can book via Dry By to have a nail appointment with Alex. So if you do love my nails and you want to go and see Alex at the Hot Blend then I cannot recommend her more. She's honestly amazing. Yeah, I'll use this gel polish remover. This'll do. Yeah, so I just thought I'd just have a little chat with you. Just kind of about my holiday, which was just absolutely divine. It was a family trip, just a lovely little family trip. My brother and his girlfriend, me and Alex, Bo, and then my mum and my stepdad. It was just as you'd kind of imagine from a lovely little family trip to the coast. It was just lots of sightseeing, lots of just walking in and out of lovely little like fud shops and cute little um, coastal shops, that kind of thing. And it was just so relaxed. Like I, I didn't post for a couple of days while I was there because I just needed some time not doing anything um, and not recording things of my life. I just wanted to just go and enjoy it. I bumped into a few of you guys, which was really, really cool. And to be honest, in honesty, that's, that's why I haven't got a vlog from Cornwall trip as such, because I was just really enjoying having like time off with my mum and the dog and, you know, with the family and Alex. I, I kind of vlogged a few things and I'll, I'll insert that probably at some point in this vlog I'll insert a few of those clips of the of the trip. After a few shots Alex was like babe I can tell your heart just isn't in this and I think you just need some time away from the camera for a little bit and I was like I think you might be right actually I think I just need to just not you know be doing anything. So after taking a couple of shots I was like no I'll just do lots more stories instead. That's what I did! So if you haven't already seen, and if you don't already follow me on Instagram, it's just in the fro. And on there, one of the latest highlights, you, know, you can click the little highlight buttons. One of them is literally just called Cornwall, and you can skim through there. Because as I was, as I was posting things, I was getting lots of messages from you guys on Instagram saying, please keep including like locations and restaurant mentions because I'm going soon. Honestly, I got so many of these messages just saying please keep mentioning where you went and what you'd recommend. So I started doing more and more of that just in case any of you wanted to go to the same restaurants and things because I know um, I know how hard it is to plan especially if you've never been somewhere before. Like I kind of had a vague idea of what to do because I've been to Cornwall a lot. Um, yeah so I was happy just to kind of include loads of restaurants, recommendations and things. So have a little look on those highlights if you are going to Cornwall or you know, or if you just want to have a little peek at what we did on the holiday. It was really, really lovely. My time on the beach with Bo was just exactly what I had sort of dreamed it would be. So it was just absolutely amazing. One second. Okay, sorry. So got that off so I can just start painting now. Yeah, so I'll include that soon. In honesty, yeah, I've just been really, I think I've just been really needing a bit of a break from social media really as a whole i think it just um 
it can just kind of get on top of me sometimes. And I know to some people it'd be like, oh God, it's not exactly the hardest job in the world. And you know, for some people it's it's not. Yeah, when you put as much work into it as we do, it does become an extremely extensive and very busy job. But, but more so, it's more, and I don't want this to bring down the mood of this vlog at all. I also hope that sound isn't going through everyone with me filing. I'm just finding myself getting increasingly anxious and like sad about the world in general to be honest. There's just so much continuously happening around the world from disasters to extreme weather changes caused by climate change to uh, which obviously then leads to things like enormous forest fires and deforestation and then outside of that you've got huge cases of genocide in some countries and major human rights violations in other countries and you've got corrupt government in other countries and, and the list just goes on and on and on and, and the only reason I'm saying this and how it's linked well, what I'm trying to say with why I need a break from social media is because quite often people message me regarding the disasters happening in their countries and expect me to say something on it and as much as I appreciate that some people want me to talk about you know things that are happening I'm just not equipped to talk about things I'm not a news broadcaster I'm not a news journalist I only know as much as the next person you know I'm a fashion and beauty influencer I'm just an average person with happens to have quite a large following and as much as some people think well it would be nice if that following heard about X, Y and Z you know at the same time that audience isn't here to hear about X, Y and Z they're probably following me to see fashion and beauty content I mean don't get me wrong I do share some things if I'm in a place where I feel I can and I know a bit more about it but there's a lot of topics I just don't know enough on and also I think well in honesty there's so much there is so much happening right now it's very it's just so overwhelming and it's really quite hard to deal with again I don't mean to bring this vlog down but that's just the place I'm kind of at recently in that there is too much to take in as a human being the disasters and the human rights violations happening everywhere including obviously and, and whilst it's happening everywhere else there's also a lot of things happening in my country too in England with you know domestic abuse cases going up and god I don't even know so much just so much you know homeless the cases of people who are homeless the cases of covid so it's it's really difficult when people are saying please help me in my country when there's just there's too much happening for me to take in myself personally and so it gets a point sometimes where after looking at my DMs sometimes I just have to just switch off and zone out because otherwise it's just like it's it's just very um hard to see dramatic news story after the next dramatic news story and people hoping that I'll share it when I just don't know enough and there's just too much there's too much to share so I just need to be in a place where I can share things that I know about and things that I know my audience want to see, which is fashion and beauty content, I think, and the odd, like, more personal thing, you know, about me or Alex and the dog or whatever, and the house. I just need to stick to that because that's what kind of keeps me motivated. It's kind of keep what keeps my head above water. I just have to learn that that is just... That is just all I can do right now, something else I can do apart from donating to the charities that I already do and offering my support where I can. Um, I can't take I can't take on much more than that really, you know what I mean? Sorry, it's such a strange position, I'm literally just filing my toenails. Um, yeah, so so that's why, sorry, I don't mean I didn't mean for that to be so um, such a, a ball breaker, but um yeah, I'm just just saying that's how I kind of feel on that matter. And I know there's probably some people who do the same job I do who are watching who think oh yeah totally get you but let me know if so and I mean I'm sure a lot of you if, if a lot of you you know if you blog or if you're on social media and you have somewhat of a following um, I'm sure you may have also felt those pressures to you know speak up and be seen to be talking about things that you don't really know much about I digress my point being I just needed some time away from my phone for those kind of things just to kind of uh, get some real chill time and I did just that so um, since then I got I got vaccinated got double vaccinated now so I'm ready to go on trips and 
you know, go and do important things that I need to do because I've already been asked a few times for a few varying things. Are you double vaccinated? Because you need to be. So I am. I'm doing bits and bobs in the garden. The garden is coming together really, really amazingly now. Like bits of patio are, are going down. But I also have a little mini fashion haul to show you, which is exciting. And I have an unboxing later to show you as well. In honesty, I'm really, really enjoying watching people's unboxing videos. Like I'm watching so many of them like back to back. People just unboxing bags. It's just nice to see people's bags and see them in detail, see what other people are buying. It just kind of really helps inspire me and in potential purchases. And it was kind of through watching loads of unbox videos that I ended up um, buying myself a new bag. Um, so I'll be able to show you that in a little minute. In fact, I might show you that tonight. So what I'll do is I'll quickly finish off uh, painting my toes whilst I watch some YouTube videos. Um, I think I'm just going to go, mm, I kind of would like to maybe go with a pink for a change or like a nude. I might go with my Naked Naivety nude. Uh, CND actually, I might go with that. Um, I usually always, always go for Ruby Ritz, this like ready glitter for my toes. But I think today I fancy going for something a bit more nude. Base coat, top coat, and yeah, I'm on this. Oh my goodness, you can't even see me now. That is how late it's gotten. What time is it? It's 8.40. I am, um, I've just finished my toes. So at least they're done now. I think I've probably been taking a bit longer because I've been <laughs> procrastinating. Oh gosh, it's a mess. It is a mess behind me. I've been procrastinating watching um, Josie's new vlog and things. So what I'm gonna do is instead, I'm gonna get myself ready for bed. My arm is aching a little bit from the vaccine yesterday. So I just wanna just like chill a little bit now so I'm gonna instead come back to you tomorrow and do my little fashion boxing and then my actual um like bag unboxing as well so I'll do that tomorrow when I have light again <laughs> hi guys okay it's the next day I finally got some sunlight got myself ready there has been a lot of noise outside so I've not been able to film anything until now because the builders have been cutting breeze blocks into pieces so the noise has been unbelievable so I'm hoping they don't start up again really, really soon. I finally want to just quickly show you a few things that I picked up from Lily Silk. Yeah, if you've not been here before, on the times when I have done a little bit of a Lily Silk haul per se, Lily Silk is kind of the best place to go if you're looking for anything made in silk, whether that's pillowcases, pajamas, robes, um, silk shirts, silk blouses silk underwear but equally they also sell other fabrics too as well as silk but yeah it is a really fantastic store i have a number of things from those guys in my closet all of my pillowcases are from lily silk and so i'm so happy to recommend them on the vlog so this part of the video is going to be a little integrated paid for advertorial with lily silk i also have a discount code i'll put all the details right here on the screen just so i don't miss anything and i get it perfectly correct uh, but yeah let's just have a little peek at what i picked up up. First piece that I picked up was something that I don't currently have in my closet and actually really needed just for very basic days. It's a really simple basic black silk camisole. I really love the thin spaghetti straps and um, it's just that very um, simple and kind of elegant basic. You can just tuck it into jeans or wear it underneath cardigans. I've just tucked this into a pair of my like favourite linen trousers um, just to show how I'd usually wear it and I absolutely love it. Um, it's such a great fit. I love the really kind of lower scoop neck. I'm not wearing a bra with it, obviously I mean, you can do what you like, but I want to kind of wear it without bra. I've not tucked it in super duper tight, so it's tucked but it's kind of pulled out a little bit to add a bit more shape and texture and I've thrown on a gold chain with it and I love it. I think this is such a cute simple outfit kind of simple but effective this kind of thing I could now just throw on the matching blazer at the top and it is a perfect basic accompaniment kind of um, piece to go with it I really am so happy with this I thought I preferred it when actually it's just annoying me right better <laughs> um, I have picked up another pillowcase another 
white king sized silk pillowcase just because I wanted to put a few more on the other bed. <laughs> I think I've got two more of the pillowcases. As I've said before, a lot of people say that silk pillowcases are not only better on your hair, you know, if you're lying on the pillowcase, you've got nothing that's kind of rubbing and frictioning against your hair. Equally also better for your skin, there's nothing rough rubbing against your skin. Silk pillowcases always just feel amazing. Um, and these are just really, really great ones. So, so I think these are the Oxford pillowcases that have the two inch band around the edges to give that lovely kind of Oxford pillowcase style. Again, I'll be ironing this before we go on the bed. The second one! So whoever's sleeping in our guest room next time, you've got some really nice silky pillowcases to sleep on, guys. So this piece I was actually gonna pick up from Lily Silk last time that I worked with them on my last vlog. Again, I'm gonna give this a really quick iron, but this is a beautiful kind of emerald green silk shirt dress with buttons all the way down, um, a tunic collar. This is such an easy day wear look but I was very much drawn to this colour. They do it in lots of other colours as well, by the way, but this colour just completely sang to me. The green emerald dress also does come with a belt, by the way, if you do want to cinch it in yourself. Well, I feel amazing in this. This is gorgeous. Look at this colour. Oh, I honestly, I am such a fan of an emerald or a forest green. This is beautiful, the quality, again, divine absolutely beautiful I've just been steaming all these pieces and they literally steam like perfection it's like gone gone super quick um I use the Philips steamer by the way it works brilliantly yeah so I'll put it on with the green band that it comes with just to cinch this in but again you could put it on with a really thick waist belt or a really skinny little waist belt with little like gold accents on it or silver whatever you're wearing with the rest of your outfit the fit of it is beautiful it fits gorgeous i love the length just kind of below the knee perfect with a pair of heels this would look amazing with over knee boots or calf length boots as well next up as i was buying the black camisole i also saw this beauty this little white silk cami and the thing i love about it is it already has the built-in ties at the very front so if you want to get that tied up ribbon tied shirt lock over jeans or over cute little shorts or something it's already kind of built in for you um, so i loved this i don't have anything actually like this especially not in silk this is beautiful honestly the quality of these are just exceptional and for the price I think they are such great pieces. I really do rate Lily Silk for this. Um, this, by the way, I would say this is quite an oversized fit. So if you don't want it to be too oversized, I'd maybe size one size down. This is an extra small and it definitely fits. It's meant to fit so it's a bit more drapey and it's not too fitted. So I would definitely say if you don't want it like that and you want it a bit more fitted, then I'd maybe size one down. I mean, how beautiful does that silk look as it catches the line? The drape of it is so, so gorgeous. Especially lovely against a tan. I'm super tanned at the moment and absolutely loving it. I'm just layering up purity water gel from Saint Tropez. Loving it like every night because it doesn't stay in the bed. Um, so, yes, yeah, so I'm super tanned right now, but really, really loving this. And the last piece that I picked up was this beautiful navy blue short sleeve silk shirt. I have this in white and I love it. I love the way it feels. I love the drape of the silk. Again, it's quite a great basic shirt piece, really lightweight and durable. So I thought I'd pick up the same again, but in a navy blue. Oh my goodness, I love it, I love it. This kind of cropped fit to it straight away. I don't even really need to tuck this, especially like a, a midi tuck at the front, tuck in the front, leave in the back draped i often like that kind of style it also allows you then to kind of show off your belt as well at the front as always we've got it kind of a little bit more open wearing a bralette in between this is so gorgeous i love the color i love the fit of this so flattering in this color like this outfit is fab i love gold against navy also against blonde hair I think it's such a nice little combo. So that is everything guys. I hope you've enjoyed a little try on, a little haul. I hope it's maybe inspired you. Is there anything that you've seen that you love? Have you ever bought from Lily Silk before? 
If not, would you maybe be inspired to now? I'd love to know actually. And like I said, the code is Victoria15 for 15% 15 off if you do want to treat yourself. So. so that is everything. By the way, so these linen trousers, by the way, obviously I've had these for a while now, but I've just had them back from being altered. The hem on the inside of this one trouser was coming down, so the hem starts like here. Extra fabric, obviously for if people are much taller, they can have it taken down. Um, I wanted mine to stay cropped, but it was falling down and like un unraveling itself out. So I sent it off to the restory. You may remember I've had, in the past I've had a few pairs, which ones were they now? I've had a few pairs of shoes. Oh, those. I've had a few pairs of shoes altered in the past, so these for example were all like yellow before but they went off coloured. So I sent them to the restory and they painted them blue for me. Oh gosh, there's so many in here that they redid. They rehealed a pair of these for me, I think. They also repaired my Chanel's for me, which I thought were beyond repair. They repaired them for me, they completely rehealed bits of them, they resold them for me. So now I have two pairs of these because they're like some of my most worn shoes. So yeah, so the restory is a service in the UK. I think it's just the UK. You can send your shoes. Now they do bags, so you can also send your bags, like used worn bags, and they'll paint them up or they'll replace the leather or they'll repair the leather. I mean, they're amazing. They will literally do anything that you need them to do. They've just launched clothing repairs, so game changer. I'll be honest with you, I don't know anyone anywhere else that can do clothing repairs. I'm sure if I looked into getting, trying to get a tailor, I might be able to find someone, but when you buy a lot of really expensive clothing, you know, you want to really trust who you send them to. And after having such amazing service before with the restory, when they sent me a press release to say, we're now la launching clothing alterations, I was like, this is what I've been needing. So Alex had a jacket that he had the sleeves taken up on. I have a dress. I'll show you actually. I wore it over the weekend. This dress, I've got two Zimmerman sat next to each other here. This dress, I got it a couple of years ago. I wore it for my friend's wedding over in Tuscany, but it was always about two inches too long. It draped on the floor and it wound me up. So I've never really worn it because it was literally just scooping up the floor in the dirt. So I've had about two inches taken off the bottom of it and now it is perfect. With a pair of heels, it's perfect maxi. So I've had that altered. Yeah, so I had the dress altered. I had Alex's jacket taken up at the sleeves, but they actually took it up via the shoulder because it was detailing on the sleeves of, his, of the cuffs. So instead of taking it up from here and cutting off the cuff, they took it up by the sleeve and it's perfect. But yeah, and they've also done these trousers for me. So now they are crisp, like perfectly crisp. They just look better than actually than they ever did before. They're really perfectly finished. So yeah. I wanted to recommend the rest of it to you. But then guys, there's been a bit of a change in this room as well that I wanna show you. Check out my brand new mirror. This is so dreamy. This is brand new. It is such a feature. I mean, it's absolutely unbelievable. Um, as you guys might know, I am currently waiting on my Armac Martin handles. These ones right here, I've ordered those in bulk. I'm just waiting on them all being made because I've got about 32 handles in here. So all the handles will be changing. Anyway, I'm a big fan of Armac Martin and they have very kindly sent me this enormous gift. Unbelievable. This is a collaboration between Armac Martin and Sophie Patterson, who is a extremely famous and wonderful interior designer. They have worked on this collection of mirrors. There's three to choose from, I think. This is the biggest one that they do, but equally it is the one that fits this space the best. Before, you might remember, I had a one of those I Love Ricky mirrors here before. It was kind of white, plastic, amazing because it has a light on it. So it has lights all the way around, so doing makeup in the dark is absolutely dreamy. So from that perspective, it's really handy. But for the room and the kind of elegance of the room, it never really suited the space. And so when I saw the lookbook in this mirror, I was like, this mirror looks like it's literally made for this room. It'll have similar metals all over the room. Um, the same, it's the same company as the handles, you know, it just kind of felt like the perfect piece. And as I've told you, I'm having all brand new tops put on in, in here in a porcelain marble effect. So when this is gonna be on top of the marble, it's gonna look even more divine. But I still just wanted to show you for now because I think it's absolutely incredible. So these pieces here all push inwards if you want to keep it like this. I mean, I'm just gonna keep mine completely open at all times like this. But isn't it just something else? It's absolutely stunning. 
the metal on it, like I said, is the stunning kind of brushed Armac Martin metals. It's extremely heavy. The quality is beyond. So, so for any of you who are doing up your closets, dressing rooms, wardrobes, whatever you want to call, whatever you want to call it, I kind of wish I'd got in the habit of calling this my dressing room. I'm going to try and call it my dressing room. I'm just in a habit of calling it my closet. I don't know why. I just kept calling it the closet because it's quicker. For any of you doing up your dressing room and you're going for a really luxury, sophisticated feel in there, this is an absolutely superb mirror choice. It just looks so traditional. You can almost imagine like back in the day ladies putting on a little powder puff makeup. It's very kind of traditional in its styling but with this superior quality and modern finish to it. So of course I'll be showing you this when it's all kind of ready and the room's finished. It's, we're getting there. We're almost there now actually with this room. It's almost getting there. So, so I'm absolutely thrilled with it because isn't it beautiful? It's absolutely beautiful. It's art deco finish to it. Gosh, what else do I have to tell you about? Ooh, that's wonky. Ha! Huh. Um, one thing as well I have to tell you about, this is a big shout out because a very good friend of mine, Carla Rowena, has just launched her own gym wear pieces with a brand called Halo, I believe. Um, Carly's a very good friend of mine, but she's also an incredibly wonderful person with a heart of gold and the most incredible soul. Anyway, she's launched these pieces and I need to show you because they are just the most fantastic quality. They are super soft. Like honestly, like unbelievable softness, wonderfully stretchy. Um, the, the, the feel of them, honestly, is unlike anything I've ever felt. It's absolutely gorgeous. And she's done three styles. There is the green, the animal print, which is my personal favorite. And also I think this is like a burgundy wine shade. It's all slightly different. The red one is kind of, has a little bit of a lattice strap back, which is gorgeous, but it kind of comes up quite high around here in this style. So it all depends what style, I know everyone has very different preferences. This one is more of a wrap finish at the front and then it wraps beautifully over the back here like this. And then the animal print, I currently don't have the animal print here because it's down in my bedroom, I've been wearing it, but it has loads of lattices across the back, it's super sexy, I love it. And then everything comes with leggings or with shorts. The leopard print, by the way, is extra, extra soft. These are also soft, but they feel a little bit more cottony. But I love that she has her little Carla Rowena logo here. And then on the leg, I think that's a little Halo logo. But the shorts also have pockets, which is absolutely gorgeous. Super high-waisted, holds you in in all the right places, makes you feel really secure. Especially the... I mean, I've not yet worked out in these, but the animal print top, um, when I'm on a peloton, I'm obviously over the bike and I'm like this. I don't feel any jiggle. I don't feel like I'm moving around. I feel super secure in them. Yeah, honestly guys, if you're looking for some new gym wear, I cannot, cannot recommend this more. And I'm not just saying that because Carly's a friend of mine. I'm genuinely blown away by the quality and the fit. And especially the, um, the design of this one, especially, I'm absolutely in love with it. It's absolutely beaut. She's also done these gorgeous socks as well. I mean, she's been so kind. As a, I mean, we're such a good friend. She's one of our best friends. But she sent me all the socks as well. And as part of her branding, her Let's Sweat branding, they all say Let's Sweat down the back, which is so cool. These would be such a great gift for someone as well if they're trying to get into gymming and kind of working out more. So these ones say, so these ones say Let's Sweat and then the other ones are all plain, but they have like the leopard print top or the green top or the burgundy top, so you can kind of mix and match. So big congrats, oh, you can't see me now. So yeah, big congrats to Carly on that because I think she's just absolutely nailed it, nailed it. I don't want to get out of this outfit now. I love it. Let me put you on here. I feel like it's ages as well since I showed you some new like beauty products. And in honesty, whenever I get lovely new beauty products, beauty, beauty products, through the post. I bring them all into this middle spare bedroom so I can see everything and I can start putting things away in their kind of rightful places. So I thought I'd show you just a few bits and pieces that I've got. Not Nothing nothing too crazy here, guys. Oh, this is exciting. Sol Genera sent me some of their pro newest products. Um, you probably know Sol Genera pretty well for things like their um, amazing body glows. Like these are just so, so good. 
um, if you're like going on holiday and you want to look super bronze, they're absolutely gorgeous. They're just like liquid gold. But the thing that got me, sorry, I'll let you up on this. The thing that got me into this brand initially, which is their most famous product, is the uh, Bum Bum Cream. This smells just divine. I've gone through so many pots of this. I'd go as far as saying it's definitely within my top three body lotions ever. The smell is just absolutely heavenly. <sighs> What is that? It's like, is it um, sweet? Like, it's just absolutely heavenly, by far my fave. But they've just brought out the Bum Bum Body Scrub, so that's exciting. Does this smell the same? Oh, it does. It smells the same. The smell is escaping me. It's not caramel. It's, it's like cocoa butter and shea butter and caramelly. Oh, I can't remember. I can't think what it is. Anyway, launched this scrub, but they've also just sent me this. Brazilian Foreplay moisturizing shower cream gel if this smells the same then hallelujah hallelujah oh it does oh my gosh fantastic thank you i cannot wait to bathe in that smell so those have arrived i got a fantastic parcel from bumble and bumble bumble and bumble make amazing hair products so many amazing hair products um, i've only got a few here because i've already dispersed them across the house to be honest uh, but I've also this is amazing guys the curl activator if you've had like curls in the day before the next day you can kind of spritz this through and it kind of reactivates curls and gives your hair a bit more texture and and it kind of helps break up the curls and give them more like definition again so it like activates the style of the curls, you can kind of see that how it's broken it up and looks too, like more toozled again now. This is great, I've, I've used this for years. Um, thickening Go Big Treatment Volumizing Concentrate. This is really fab for spritzing onto your hair, especially when it's kind of like damp. They've also sent me this, can't work for me actually, um, unfortunately. This is a brown one, hair powder, brown hair powder. Spritzes it on, it'd be amazing for you if you're going grey or if you're having lighter tones in your hair and you want to be more brown. But they do do the same one. This one, I think it's the same. Dry shampoo. Tret Invisible. Dry shampoo. I'm also sent this soft texture finishing spray. I'm almost finished with it. That's how much I've been using it. This is the kind of thing that, again, I love putting through my hair when it looks like this. Through the roots and through the front. Give it extra texture and more body. That's a gem. Also the dry spun texture spray, kind of very similar product if you want some texture. So yeah, I've got lots of bits and mobs and also I'm excited to try this post-workout dry shampoo mist. So that'll be great for after my Pelotons. So thank you Bumble and Bumble. I also got some new some new products from Jones Road. I've never tried this before but this is Bobbi Brown's new brand, which is pretty exciting. This is a product that I've seen everybody talking about. This is the Miracle Balm. I think you can kind of put this everywhere. I'm not sure if you can use it as a... I think most people are kind of using this as like a skin gloss. The kind of thing, I mean, I've already got a lovely highlight, like an amazing highlight on here, but it's the kind of thing that you'd apply even more of. Just kind of similar to what I've got on here, but just like a wet skin gloss vibe. I don't know if you meant to put it on your lips or not. I wish this came with something on the bottom that says, apply to lips cheeks or whatever to use it. I've even had to go looking to find out what exactly you do with this because I'm not too sure but I think it is meant to be like a wet skin balm product but still super intriguing either way. I very much like the packaging, I like the direction of the brand, it's quite exciting. I think I just need to have a little bit more understanding of what to do with these products. This I really love though, this came, this is um, the bronze sparkle wash stick. Just a really highly pigmented eyeshadow stick. So I'm excited to look at some different colours in that. La Mer, La Mer sent me the most amazing box of products actually. They sent this incredible box of products with their brand new product in here. Their, the hydrating infused emulsion. But within this box of goodies, they also sent a keep cup. It's super that says La Mer in it. And they also sent an espresso. It's downstairs. Alex has already used it this morning to make some hot milk. So, such a cool little gift, but it came with this hydrating infused emulsion because the, the segue there being that it's a Federlite hydrator with nutrient-rich kelp and soy and renewing miracle broth that delivers all-day nourishing hydration to renew, strengthen and stabilise. It's created by an ultra-high-speed cyclone-like homogenisation and flash heat process to create a delicate, bioavailable micro-milk. 
To showcase this innovative technology, please enjoy your Nespresso Arachino 3 to create your ultra light, hot or cold milk froth. Such a lovely idea. I, l I love it when PR teams think of really fantastic segues and like press gift ideas. So thank you so much to the, the gorgeous girls at La Mer. Yeah, so this is this is really exciting. Brand new La Mer product, as you know. I am an enormous La Mer fan. I've used their products for years. Every brand new product gets me excited. Oh my goodness, look at that. Gorgeous packaging. It is super, super light. It is, it's like light, milky, milky texture. Smells wonderful. It's got the signature La Mer smell. Oh, that is, that's something else. That's going straight, straight underneath my sink in the um, underneath my sink it's going straight into my um my cupboard where my skincare is for everyday usage this size is 125 ml it's 195 pounds apply to dry cleanse skin before your moisturizer of choice yes this is like an extra layer of hydration to strengthen your moisture barrier as it soothes the skin revealing a soft supple finish You'd almost apply this like your serum. Okay, gorgeous, can't wait to use this. Thank you so much to La Mer. By the way, for any of you La Mer collectors, you probably already know this, but they've just launched their newest La Mer Blue Heart packaging too, which is just divine. Yeah, and I had a few other things as well from Shiseido, their Synchro Skin, which one am I wearing? Radiant Lifting. I'm wearing this today. It's becoming, fast becoming, one of my favorite foundations ever. Yeah, wearing it today absolutely in love with it. They sent me a new one because you know how much, how much I love it. So thank you so much to the Shiseido team. Last but not least, I got a lovely little package through as well from Flannels Beauty. Yeah, beauty upgrade has arrived. I love these boxes they send things out in, but they just sent me lots of beautiful little products. Again, it's just a showcase of everything that Flannels Beauty is doing. I mean, Larry King, a social life for your hair, is one of the best creams ever. They've also sent me the Augustinus Beta Lip Balm. Hello. And also, hello. And also the Neville Rejuvenating Daily Moisturizer. Again, it's just because Flannels are selling everything like every every single thing ever so they're just sending me a few little bits and bobs now and again to top me up on some brands that i might not have tried or products that i may want to try so thank you to flannels i am so proud to be a flannels beauty ambassador it honestly is such a massive career highlight for me so yeah that's all these bits and bobs for now guys sorry i feel like this vlog is going own and own after we've put in the cornwall footage by the way i'm sorry about the cornwall footage i don't know what happened but i don't think i had my stabilizer on the camera i think from now on i'm just going to keep the stabilizer on at all times and never take it off regardless of if i have you sat down here or not i'm just going to leave it on because it's just causing me issues so i'm really really sorry if you keep an eye out on the right hand side we have the worldwide heritage site that is Stonehenge. We've been stuck in traffic for how long? Half an hour in traffic. I mean, we have been in traffic, but I mean, it is. I mean, look at it. Mm. That is that is something else, isn't it? It's a prehistoric monument. People are already over there. Yeah, I mean, it's incredible, isn't it? Perfect view right there. Welcome to New Quay. We've just arrived. I am so thrilled with our room. We're staying at the Headland Hotel. Always want to stay here in all the times that I've come to Newquay. I've always seen it on the cliffside, never stayed here. I think it's one of the only five star hotels in Newquay and it's just because we obviously haven't been away for so long. We were like, you know what, sod it. Let's just go and find the loveliest place to stay. And I am so happy because I, when I ordered the room, obviously when you can put like requests and notes, I was like, I'd just love one with like a sea view, a big enough wardrobe, for like a week's worth of clothes and we'll be happy. And, and that is pretty much what we've got. So I'm thrilled to bits. We're just here, by the way, as normal paying guests who don't know who we are. The view of Fistral Beach right from here which is phenomenal. We're just gonna go and have a little walk down now. And then there's so much light in this room. On this other side, you've got the other side of the sea. A few other hotel view. Honestly, the view could not be better. And then we've got an enormous four poster bed. It's like a super king. Um, it's just really lovely in here. Honestly, I, um, I kind of screamed when we got in, didn't I? Mm. I was like, yay, it's really lovely. And we've got a lovely big tub as well. So, literally exploded. 
as always. So we're gonna head down now to the beach and just go, I just wanna go lay on a towel and chill out for a few hours and just have a little snooze. <laughs> I tried doing that myself earlier and nearly pulled my back out. <laughs> Should have pulled the window down. We went for the loveliest walk, as you saw, along Fistral Beach. Bo was just, <laughs> was just in the sea. It was just gorgeous. It's exactly what I've just been like dreaming of. Taking Bo in the sea just for like a little dip, and it, yeah, absolutely amazing. So we did that, and we've just come back to get ready, and now we're going to head out and meet the family. We've got like a half an hour walk into Newquay, so it should be beautiful. Lovely blue sky outside, so it should be really beautiful. So tonight's outfit, I have my, I have the linen trousers on, the sage linen trousers on, the Zimmerman, little Zimmerman top, and I'm taking out the beautiful green Bulgari bag, the sustainably made bag that I showed you in last week's vlog. Hey guys! I hope you can hear me with the um, with the wind, but we are just at Land's End. We've just taken a bit of a drive, like an hour and a bit drive from Newquay to Land's End to see the end of the UK. And we have a really beautiful little spot here where we've that we've just kind of walked along and found. Really, really beautiful. We've both had a Cornish pasty and a little drink. Yeah, we're just taking in the view, aren't we? Bo is very, very tired today. He got very ill last night. He'd eaten too much, too much sand yesterday, and um, and so he was a bit sick overnight, unfortunately. But he's a bit more perky today. He's just very, very tired, aren't you, Dan? We're not feeding him sand, by the way. No, <laughs> he just ate a lot of sand. <laughs> yeah, so we're just taking a couple of pictures before we head off to our next destination. One last thing I want to show you. Oh my god. I was literally just about to sign off the vlog and realised I haven't even shown you these. So I have two little treats here. Not only this one, but also this one. I've been searching for a nude coloured bag for a little while. Just to start this off with, I realise I have a lot of bags. I've got, uh, you know, I've got too many bags for one person. But I know the majority of you understand that, you know, I'm having the latest styles, trying to inspire you guys. I realised there was a few times recently where I wanted a nude coloured bag, completely nude, and I don't, for some reason, I've got beige, I've got cream, I've got ivory. I don't have a solid nude coloured bag. Somehow. I've no idea how I don't, but I don't. I wanted to pick up a new Dior. So, so I got myself a brand new Dior bag. I'll be honest with you, I've already unboxed it. So as much as I'm unboxing it here, here we go. Unboxing experience. I mean, the only difference between this and the actual experience was taking off a ribbon and then taking it out of his bag. But anyway, here is my brand new bag. I love it. It's so modern. It's so flipping chic. This is a full matte nude Dior saddlebag in the medium size. This is going to be used so much. I think, I really believe I'm going to use this. Check back in a year with me. Hopefully I'll be like, this is one of my most used bags ever. Um, but like I said, I've got nothing else like this in my entire collection, especially nothing in a full block color. They don't even have the CD metal pieces in gold or silver or rhodium. It's all in this matte sprayed pink mauvey nude, which is what I love about it. I love it's kind of got this mauvey undertone to the nude. On the camera there, it looks it looks too light. It's, it's much more this colour here, as you can see it next to me. And of course, I went for the medium size. I actually don't know if this comes in a smaller size, but I went in the medium size because it fits so much more in here. It's a much more usable bag, that's for sure, than the small one. 
but I'm genuinely in love with it. I love the matte style of this. I love how this is in this matte. In fact, this goes so well with this outfit. Easy style. I've seen this one on the website and I was completely in love with it and I've been between a few different nude bags. I'll be honest, I was also really intrigued by getting a Chanel 19 in a nude. But as you guys know, I'm much more of a Dior girl than I am a Chanel girl, that's for sure. I've got a couple of Chanel bags, but I'd always go Dior over a Chanel, in complete honesty, as you guys probably know. I just thought, stick to my, stick to my guns and go with the one that I thought was just so unique. Totally unique in my collection. I've not got anything matte like this. I've not got anything in a full block colour. I don't have anything nude. I, have, I do have one other saddle bag, but that saddle bag is so embellished, embroidered. It's, it's fully... It's not here right now, it's just down in the room, but it's fully like blue and white embroidered. This is completely different. It's like a completely different bag. I know a lot of people don't like the saddle bags because they don't like the shape, but I love it. I'm thrilled with it. What do you think? Let me know guys down below. It's a big new investment for me, but I think it's one that I am going to cherish and adore wearing. So I'm, I'm really excited about it. Let me know what you think. Then, sort of to go with it, I have my next little purchase that I have. Um, this is sort of to go with it. I picked up a strap, but this is also because I have a number of other Dior bags that I don't have a long strap for. The one strap I do have is a lot thicker and it's completely monogrammed. This is a little bit more chilled. It's got the Christian Dior just here. Yes, I just really love the simplicity. I loved the one stripe. I mean, straight away, you know, it's Dior without it saying Dior embroiled all over it. Um, so this is for if I just want to take this bag out and about. Obviously the strap metal work would usually match the bag metal work and obviously this has matte, <laughs> matte metal work. But I've, I've tried it and I've shown Rebecca and I've shown Alex and they both really kind of like these two together. They're not the same colour nude but they're still in a similar family so I think it still works. Let me move you to here. I just found, sorry, I just found the best light is over this side. But yeah, it's great. It just fits know really really nicely against the body with this yeah I think they go really really nicely actually personally I think the blue and the beige with this nude work quite well I don't know what else would have gone well without it being white I don't want a white strap so yeah let me know guys what you think um, I know it's a bit of a splurge I just fancied adding again to my collection with a brand new Dior it's been a little bit since I bought myself a new Dior so I'd love to know what you think sorry I'm in the midst of a very bright light there let me know what you think of this baby. <laughs> I think I'm going to leave this vlog here because I've actually been going on and on and Alex is editing part of it and he's like, this is long. I'm going to leave it here. It's only kind of been like a one day vlog, but I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, don't forget the Lily Silk discount code Victoria15, 15% 15 off. You want to treat yourself? But let me know what you thought of the pieces I picked up and let me know what you think of the bad guys. I love your opinion always. Uh, but thanks for being here. If you got this far, leave me the little bag emoji the bag. I love you, leave it. I'll see you soon.